Yeah, it could be a lot tougher because we know the Minnesota Vikings rely on their run game. And without Davin Cook, they haven't been very successful. And I was told that they are very optimistic that he will actually suit up and play tonight. We know he's dealing with that shoulder injury on the offensive side of the ball. Adam Thielen, he'll be out because of that ankle. But to have Dalvin Cook back with the rest of their horses, because, you know, in their last game against the Detroit Lions, you didn't realize what Jefferson did out there. Mm-hmm. He was incredible. Yeah. We kept focusing on the embarrassing performance of everyone else, but he was outstanding. But the good news for Minnesota, they also have – pretty much their entire defense back. Their best interior linemen, their two best linebackers. Uh, Patrick Peterson is off the COVID list. So they're coming full throttle, ready to go here against the Steelers. Yeah, and there's a team coming off that loss, the Lions. I mean, this is like a must-win game for them. So, Lewis Riddick, I bring you in, and I ask you the question, who is the most important Steeler in tonight's game? Well, there's no doubt it's Ben. And Ben needs to be at his very best tonight, and he needs to be at his very best, not so far as pushing the ball down the field and creating big explosive plays in that way, but just, but just distributing the football quickly, getting it to his playmakers in catch-and-run situations. And they need to attack the, attack the middle of the field. Look, I know Anthony Barr and Eric Kendricks will be back. Patrick Peterson will be back. But that's where they need to attack, inside out in the middle of the field in the passing game, Get the ball on the edges to Chase Claypool, Deontay Johnson in the quick passing game, and let these guys catch and run. Because what you have is our guys coming back off of injury. You have a defense that right now that schematically, in particular, once you get into the red area, once you get into two-minute situations, has proven to be suspect, and I don't care who's coming back for this team. They need to take advantage of those things, and Ben needs to be right at the forefront of leading the charge. He has to play his very best. If he does... And these skill position players show up, especially in yak situations, yardage after the catch. They have a very good chance to win this football game. I know there's two other phases to take care of, but that's where it starts for sure. He has to be at his very best, Bart. Well, you know who else knows that? Who? Mike Zimmer. He understands that. He understands that Ben is a shell of himself. He understands he has no fastball. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to crowd yeah. the line of scrimmage. I'm making sure you're not getting no cheap mm-hmm. bubble screens. You're not getting some easy slants. Mm-hmm. You're going to earn it, and you're going to have to throw that ball. And listen, he had listen. He had a tough game last week. And coming off that game, it was a physical game. You know, him on a short week, I'm going to close the space out, and I'm going to attack <laughs> Ben Roethlisberger, make him hold on to the ball, attack his throwing shoulder, and see if he can beat us. And because I'm going to disrespect the run game, because I know that that offensive line should be barbecue chicken if I'm at full health, if I'm, if I'm the Minnesota Vikings. So it's going to be interesting to see. You know, the visiting team has struggled every single Thursday that we watched. You know, and so I think this is the same. I keep wanting to bury him, but, you know, Ben has yeah. always been Michael Myers. But at some point, Michael Myers got to die. He got to go. We can't he's, have he's Halloween so 20. I don't know if he does. They're still running those movies out. Yeah. <laughs> if they don't win this week, looking at their schedule, it's but, over. But you yeah. know what? You just talked about how you just you, you want to bury him. The reason why you, you, you're hesitant to bury him is because the Steelers – Championship DNA. Mm. Yeah. Steelers DNA. This is a, but what I call that. What, that but, DNA. but listen, I understand all of that. But there's a reason why Mike Tomlin's never had a losing record, losing record as a head coach. Because he knows how to push the right button. He knows how to galvanize his team to rise up to the occasion. We know Big Ben is not having his, having his greatest season. Everybody knows that. We know you could probably say that he's the weak link of the whole weak link of the whole thing, but as far as the Pittsburgh Steelers, defensively, I think they're going to be able to get after Minnesota mm, yeah. up, up front. There's no question, there's no question about that. And, and here's no what question. we know. We know it's going to come down to the final play because that's how it's been going for Minnesota. Well, when they, yeah, with Minnesota, absolutely. Right? Yeah. With, with, and just think about their season, the journey that they've been through, how emotional because it's come down yeah. to, to one play Diana, every even single a blind, week. Even a blind squirrel finds a nut. Yep. Uh, <laughs> this could be the game where it actually falls in favor of Minnesota finally for them. Yeah, I think that I think that's the case. And you look at the Pittsburgh Steelers schedule, it's gonna come down. They got some listen, Kansas City, Tennessee, every those hey, two man, teams hey. are getting healthy. They're getting right. You mentioned it right there. I mean, we, they we, got we Cook coming back on Lewis real quick. Schedule, Bart. We're just talking what? about this game. Yeah. We don't but care about that. That's, that's, why, this, about that's this why this game, Bart. Yeah, yeah. That's why this is a must win, Lewis. This is a must win. They that's lose this win one, too. it is a that's wrap. No, win. they don't. Put some money on it. They're going to win put it. Your, put Uh-oh. your eyebrows on it. <laughs> <laughs> but you take a look at that schedule, and we're going to get to this. We're going to keep talking about the Steelers today. Look at that brutal schedule in the next hour. We'll talk about whether or not they it make the playoffs brutal. with a schedule looking like that. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.